Hey guys, it's Dr. Lion Sammy here. And this time we're going to be uh, converting to octal numbers. So first we're going to be doing converting for octal numbers to decimal numbers. So let's try to convert, let's see here. How about 27? So it's the same thing with the, like like I said in the other like the other tutorial for hexadecimal. We use an expand strategy. It's pretty much the same thing as the hexadecimal one, except you're using base eight. Like your first digit will be power zero, second digit power one, then etc. Like it always starts at zero, and then it keeps going. And then anything to the power of zero is one. Then that's how you convert to decimal. And it's pretty much the same thing like the other tutorial for converting to decimal two 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 octo to decimal two octo. Like that's the next one we're doing. Converting from decimal to octo. It's just like the other tutorial, converting from decimal to hexadecimal. So let's give uh let's see. Let's see, let's try to give a big number. Let's try 52. Okay, so 6 works here. Okay, I still didn't get a 3 digit, but you get the point. If you could divide by 8 again, you can, you can do this again. But your remainder is always the last digit. Then you keep adding another digit from there. But in this case, you didn't have that. So your remainder goes first in the product last. Oh wait, no, it's not power 8. It's to the... Oh yeah, it is to 8. We're converting to 8. Okay, so... Next we're covering for octo to binary. So what we do here, we can convert directly to binary. So let's give 77. How about that? So we're going to be using this kind of table. 4, 2, 1. So since they can all be 7s, we're going to be putting them all into 1. And you can recall from the, first, from the second episode about how to use the tail from binary. Uh, so I want you to recall from that. And we can put them together, which is they're all ones. If you want to make it eight digits, you can add two zero if you like, but they don't have to be eight digits. And what about we convert from decimal to octal? So let's just do it like this. So what you do there, you put, you put it, uh, let me see. You do it in threes. And like if there's not, if there, and recall from the hexadecimal that you have extra numbers, but they aren't like three or fours. Well, well in the hexadecimal it's four digits, but octal is only three digits. You add a zero to make it a three digit. But in hexadecimal you add, you add these zeros to make it a four digit. You do that for any extended extended to uh, a binary digit. And then you put them in your respective slots. Two, four, three. So your octal number is two hundred forty-three, which that's a huge number. 